Welcome to the Robert C. Williams Museum of Paper Making, Paper Play Activities. Today we will be learning how to make an origami llama. To begin, you will need a sheet of origami paper or computer paper that is 22.5 by 9 centimeters. To begin, I'm going to fold the edge of my paper about 1 centimeter up. And then I'm going to fold the corners in. I'm going to fold the edge up, turn my paper, and fold the corner to this edge. And repeat for the other side. I'm going to unfold, flip my paper over, and fold in half across where that middle X is. I'm going to unfold my paper, press down on the center of my X, and you will notice that I have two mountain folds now. I am going to take those mountain folds, bring them together, and flatten my triangle down. Then I'm going to flip my paper over and fold in half. And then I'm going to fold the top corner down to the edge. repeat for the other side. I'm going to open my paper back up and fold the top edge to the top point of my triangle to the top of the folded collapsed triangle. Unfold, leaving my finger here on the part of the top, bringing this top edge down, and flattening the middle. I'm gonna flip my paper back over and I'm going to fold this edge to my center line. And repeat. Now I'm going to flip my paper over and fold the top edge to where this fold is on my paper. And then I'm going to fold my paper up to where the diagonal ends. Then I'm going to fold the corner up. Once I've got both corners folded, I'm going to open the triangle you will notice there is a diagonal line here. I'm going to reverse that diagonal and roll the edge so that my triangle flattens down. Especially near this tip, very gently roll the paper to get a small fold line. Repeat for the other side. As 
these fold lines in the paper get thicker, you may want to use a bone folder to go back over your fold lines to make them sharper and more crisp. You may also use a popsicle stick or a butter knife. Now I'm going to flip my paper over and I'm going to fold both of my edges to the center line. I'm going to use these diagonals now to fold and I'm going to then finesse the point of my paper to fold right at the point. You want this to be nice and sharp because it will be the ear later on and then I'm going to just lay that back and repeat for the other side. Now I'm going to fold the whole thing in half, lining up the legs, lining up my diagonal fold here, and I'm going to open my llama back up, and this first fold line that we made, I'm going to pull the paper out just a little bit. I don't want it to untuck. I just want to pull it forward a little bit as I refold my llama because this is going to become the tail for my llama. Next, I'm going to fold the neck against the line for the body. And again, I may want to go over that fold with a bone folder. And reverse that fold again, just to reinforce the fold line. Then I'm going to open the body of my llama up and I'm going to take these fold lines and make them a mountain fold and bend the sides down. You may have to come back and tuck those ears down and in as you close that fold. And then I need to make my head. So I'm just gonna kind of gently pre-bend the paper a little bit. Not a lot, because there's a lot of layers of paper there and they're gonna be adjusted. Now I'm going to open up the area where my ears are, pop that paper forward, start closing my neck and closing the head till it's at a 90 degree angle. Now I'm going to fold the face backwards. And then forwards. This will allow me to shorten the face. which creates this little zigzag. I'm going to open the head up, fold the paper down along that first bend. It may take some finessing to get it just right. And then I'm going to bring the paper back forward until I have the head tucked together. Then I'm going to take the nose, I'm going to open it up, that very end here, and tuck it under so that it is shorter as well. And then lastly, I'm going to bring my ears and I'm going to fold them forward so that they're standing vertical and a little bit shorter.
Now, if I wanna add a little bit of decoration to my llama, I absolutely can. I can give him a face and a little blanket if I would like. I'm gonna start by giving my llama an eye, a nose, an ear, and then three U's for the blanket. As well as tassels. Once I've added the designs onto my llama, then I can add some color. And I may come back and make my tassels pink. Thank you for joining us today for Paper Play.